Okay guys, first of all, I want to say how angry I used to be whenever I search for a video of how to make money online. But then some random guy on YouTube pops up to tell me a lot of crazy things about Binance and crypto and all those other stuff that involve you to go and take months to learn before you can finally understand how it works. Listen guys, I'm going to show you something simple, something that a freshman in high school can also do to make some cool cash to buy a laptop, a good phone or a C4. You don't need to own a YouTube channel racking millions of views to do this, you don't even need a TikTok account. In fact, you don't need any massive social media following at all, and to be honest, I always prefer making money on a low while nobody even knows who I truly am. Let me tell you how disgusted I got when I googled how to make money online as a student. I came across things like matched betting. Seriously, I mean, are you for real? How can I be a student looking for money and then you come to advise me that I should go into betting? Do you want me to lose all my lunch money to betting companies? That's crazy and it's not wise at all. Listen to me guys, do not use your little cash for betting all right? It's not worth it, that thing just swallows all of your money. And then I came across online paid surveys. Isn't that funny? I want to make money and I want to make over $100 all right? So don't tell me about surveys that pay you $2 or even less. These sites should really stop writing stuff like this when talking about how to make cool money online. It's a waste of time. To make things worse, I saw another tip which says you should start your own website. Oh my god, do you all know what it takes to start a new website? Do you know the amount of competition that's out there? And why do they always say it like starting a new website is free? That stuff is not free at all. A free website will get you nothing. You always have to buy hosting and domain or write. You need money to start that thing so don't mention it to a student who's just trying to make some cool cash out of nothing. A student just has his phone and maybe a laptop, so if you're telling them how to make money online stop mentioning things that involve using money to make money, these are students, they are not necessarily broke, but they don't have plenty of cash to invest in things, they just need an easy way to make a reasonable amount of money with their device. While scrolling through hundreds of suggestions that were completely useless to me, I finally came across something that made sense to me. It's something about making deliveries. You need to have a smartphone and some wheels. Oh yeah, if you have a bicycle, why not? If you have a motorbike, why not give it a shot? You can register with any delivery company of your choice. When I saw that this job was quite sensible and I have experience in it, I decided to Google it so that I can find out how much I can make as a delivery person in the United States in 2024. I personally did delivery in 2022. It has been two years and there should be a difference. According to this answer, the average delivery driver salary in the United States is $39,000 per year and it says you can earn $18.75 per hour. I honestly don't think that's so bad. When I was doing my own delivery, I never cared to calculate how much I earned in an hour or a month. I was just doing my thing to make some cash so my pockets won't get dry. But I finally saved some money and I ended up buying a second PlayStation 4 and second TV. That year was supposed to be the best until my dad lost his life after fighting with diabetes for over 19 years. Honestly, if you think you can do this delivery job, which I personally did, I will say it's a good one to start with. If you're wondering about the delivery companies that you can work for, you should consider checking DoorDash, Uber Eats, Postmates, Instacart, and many others. It depends on your state and your country. There's another way to make money online that I picked interest in. It's about publishing an ebook. Wait, we're all students, right? And many of us can easily write a book. This is something I have done personally, too. In fact, I'm currently writing a book on Mega Novel. It's a platform that pays authors for writing books. This is not a promotion. They didn't pay me anything to say this, but what I like about this platform is that it pays you when you finish writing a book. When you get signed with them in an exclusive contract, they give you $100 just for signing with them, and then they give you $150 if you update your book for 25 days in a month. It's quite good, and I think you should try that out. You might love it. Okay, guys, so I got down to another annoying one for me. It's affiliate marketing. Do you know that most people need to go and Google affiliate marketing before they can have a very little idea of what it's all about? If you are trying to show teenagers how to make cash online, you shouldn't be telling them things that even the adults who have been struggling with it for years still don't find it so easy. This is a student that has an assignment to go work on. He has a test to write tomorrow or he has to read for his exams. So how do you expect him or her to take their time and start studying affiliate marketing or the other crypto stuff that every website keeps talking about? It's not just that one. Here's another one that says you can earn money by recycling your old mobile phones. Yeah, it's true that you can do it, but tell me how many phones does a student have? How many phones do I have to recycle in a month or a year to earn a reasonable amount of money? Other people wake up carrying on with their daily lives and I wake up looking for old phones to recycle. 
It doesn't make sense to me. There's another one here about selling your old games and movies. Well, this has been working for many people for many years. I personally sell four games, Nintendo and Xbox games, but I can't say it's a cool way of making money online because when you sell your game, you lose it and you can't play it again. So what if I don't have games that I don't need? What if every game I have is dear to me and I can't bear losing it? This won't work for me or some of you out there. There are a lot of ways to get what you want. While some of these suggestions might be just a waste of time, always remember that you can also come up with your own way of making it out there. You just have to think fast and think like no one else does. The world is changing every day and you should change with it. Think about money every second and your ideas will revolve around making it. I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. If you like this video, do consider subscribing to support this channel. It's a big motivation to me. Thank you guys for, for watching and I'll see you in the next video.